There you go. There you go. You know who do a great job making these wooden wheels? The Amish. It's kind of hard to reach them on the phone yeah. because. <laughs> and I use this when I go to work and stuff. And you know, in LA traffic, most of the time you can't go much over 30 anyway. Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to my classic car. Well, this week, we're back out in L.A. to visit Jay Leno. It's always so much fun seeing Jay, and, you know, he, he, he loves having me in his shop. And, hey, Jay, 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 hey, Jay, how oh, you hey, doing, Dennis. man? Hey. Yeah, yeah, good great to see you. you. Yeah. How are you? Oh, good, good. <laughs> well, today, we're going to talk about a car that's, well, as old as Dennis himself. Oh, that, now we're talking old. This we're talking old. <laughs> it's a 1916 auto car truck. An uh, auto, wait, an auto car truck. Now, auto car is the oldest uh, nameplate in America, 1897. B built where? Uh, well, originally in Pittsburgh, a guy named Lewis and John Clark, two brothers. They started it, and then I think 1899 they moved to Ardmore, Pennsylvania. And they're still around in, in one form or another. They make refuge trucks and big trucks. Really? And although this looks like a very simple vehicle, it's actually extremely well thought out. Um, this was a coal truck. This was meant to deliver coal to people in Pennsylvania, like, in Philadelphia, actually, in the city. That's in why town. It's, it's a town. In town. You put two and a half tons in there. It's narrow. Um, its steer is almost, uh, you, you can almost swing at 90 degrees. I mean, it's, it looks like a simple thing, but it's, it's made of the best materials. 